Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Malik Joe 34 channel. This is Malik Arjun. Okay, uh, in this today's session, we are going to see about uh, all the data files of a particular table space got corrupted or you lost those all the table, all the data files in that table space. Then how to recover all those data files belong to that particular table space. So if you don't know about this particular course, what I started, this is uh, going to be our main complete backup and restore scenarios, where in our previous videos, we have seen couple of uh, recovery scenarios, like uh, all the data files of a database lost, then how you uh, how we can restore it and control file last how you can uh, restore it using auto backup and few of the block in a data file got corrupted how we can restore it and only one data file lost or corrupted how we can restore it these all four or five scenarios we have seen it in our previous videos and today uh, we are going to see about a particular table space entire table space uh, how to restore that particular table space if the all the data files belongs to one particular table space got corrupted or lost then how you can restore it so that particular scenario we are going to uh, see it for the today's session so before I get started with the today's session, if you are new to my channel, always go back to uh, YouTube and search for Malik034 and then please do subscribe. If you missed out my previous videos, you can always refer it back in my YouTube channel. And if you like my videos, please share, like and comment. Okay, let's start with the today's session. All data files of a particular table space got corrupted. How you can restore it? So, uh, this particular scenario, when 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 this particular scenario comes into picture, for example, I have a table space uh, called a users, or I have a table space called a apps, or any any particular related to application table space. One particular user has one uh, default table space, and that that table space has uh, like plenty of uh, data files. Like I can say that like hundreds of data files are are available in that particular table space. Enter table space got corrupted entire data files belongs to that table space got corrupted or we lost all the tables all the data files then how you can restore all the uh, data files belongs to that uh, table space so if you see my previous videos uh, like the, the, it is it is uh, similar to the uh, uh, the yesterday's uh, recovery scenario one data file lost or corrupted how you can restore it so i already covered it in my yesterday's session so you can refer it so using that method only you can able to recover that entire table space like you know if that table space has uh, like hundreds of hundreds of data files you can restore all those hundreds of data files uh, uh, that is like it will take plenty of time like restoring single file at a time right so instead of that you know in in this today's session what we are going to do instead of like restoring one data file at a time we are going to restore entire table space at one shot so if that table space has hundreds of files, all the hundreds of data files will be get restored back. So that's a today's concept. Like if you have n number of data files in a table space and all are got corrupted, all the entire table space got corrupted, all the data files belongs to that particular table space got corrupted. So best method is to restore the entire table space, right? So I'm going to cover that particular scenario in two parts, two scenarios. That is one when your database is in not open and when your database is in open. The commands are uh, very simple. So, you know, uh, you have to mount your database. I'm, I'm talking about the uh, first scenario when your data files is not open. Commands are very, very simple. Start your database in mount mode because you have sp file and you have control file your database will go till mount mode and you know connect to rman and restore the table space users and recover the table space users and alter database open the commands are very very simple we will demonstrate today's scenario using the uh, users table space so i'm just going to uh, list out all the data files belongs to a table space so i'll just connect to my database Okay, so if you can see here, I have a user table space and that particular table space has a two data file, user 01 and user 02. So first scenario is I'm going to uh, shut down my database. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, delete uh, both of these two da uh, data files and I'm going to start my database and will I'll get an error message, right? So my database is down now. So what I'll do, I will remove this one RM rm right so both the uh, user uh, data files uh, uh, these two data files belong to user table space all the tab all the data files i lost particular to this user table space now i'm going to i'm trying to start my database startup and it will throw an error unable to identify this particular data file my instance started and database mounted you can see and uh, cannot identify the data file 4 
or data file 4 or data file 5 like both like this i think uh, this is data user 0 one is data file number 4 and i don't know about user 0 2 it is uh, probably 7 or 8 whatever it is but you can see here right it, it is it is reporting this particular data file it is not able to identify and i'm not able to open my database so in that uh, scenario so i will do uh, shut about okay and as i said uh, commands are very simple or you have to do startup mount because your database will go till mount mode startup mount and you can do connect to armen and then uh, do restore table space users and record table space users and alter database open i can exit i can connect to armen target and i can do restore table space users so if we do table space restore all the tab all the data files associated with the user table space will get restored both user 1 and user 2 are will get restored restore table space users right it's done recover right recover done and i will do now alter database open right my database got opened so now i will connect back to my sql prompt and i will list out my uh, data files you can see here both the data files associated with the user table space are got restored so if you have hundreds of data files it is quite simple you can restore your entire table space so again like i'm talking about non system table space you can see it's a user table space if it comes to the sysox or system or undo there's a different story I, i'll cover it in my future uh, session so right now it is limited to the non uh, you know mandatory table space that is like users or apps or whatever application table space okay though th that is about the uh, uh, scenario one and scenario two when my uh, database is open right so uh, when my when my database is open that time you know the restoring table space is very very simple the commands are same like restore table space users and recover table space users same as like when we what we did it for you know when database is in town or not open but only thing is you had to bring down your you know your table space to offline mode alter table space users offline and you know once you restore and recover your table space you have to use alter table space users online so those are the two extra commands you have to do it right so right now uh, i will simulate the second scenario like uh, again i'll connect back and uh, i'll execute the same query uh, i'll list out uh, both the uh, all the data files associated to my user table space like see these are the two user table space my database is up and running now so select name comma open underscore mode from v dollar database my database is open and read write mode so what i'll do i'll directly remove these two data files rm rm right so i i removed my uh, you know uh, both the data files so now we lost all the data files associated with the user table space so now i'll connect back and i'll try to shut down my database i'll try to do some operation set immediate see it is unable to identify the uh, unable to open my data file for user 01 or user 02 right no such a file are direct so in that case uh, you know uh, i i do not have any other option so this this particular uh, file if i try to check it at uh, you know uh, at the os level that file itself is not available all the all the files are got corrupted you can assume or all the files are got deleted uh, from the os so what to do in that case in that case same same like you know the commands are like uh, same restore table space users and record table space users you have to use the same two command but prior to that you have to bring down your uh, you know user table space offline so i'm going to run this command alter table space users offline immediate i'll connect back to sql prompt alter table space users offline immediate see my table space is offline now so then i will connect back to our main and then i will fire that restore table space users and record table space users restore table space users and uh, you know it started restoring user 02 
and user 01 both are restored and I'll do recover table space users recovery is done so then I will do alter table space users online okay so I had to do it in SQL prompt alter table space users online right table space is online now so earlier when I tried to uh, shut down my database it, it thrown error that uh, uh, where is that uh, it thrown error set immediate it thrown error that unable to identify this particular data file and then uh, I will not be able to shut down now I will try to shut down my database it will do a clean shutdown and checkpoint will occur occurs and my database will be in consistent state shutdown immediate you can see it is shutting down now right database closed and database dismounted and instance shut down now I can do clean startup right database is open so this this is pretty straight straightforward like you know uh, you can restore and recover your table space uh, you know whatever the number of files belongs to that particular table space will get restored it without impacting your uh, other uh, uh, table space or other data files and th this can be done online uh, it will not impact your uh, database up and running and other users and other table space will be uh, keep operating as usual so uh, I hope this is pretty informative guys so uh, in my next session I will uh, you know come up with the, the next scenario that is restoring your um, SP file and you know P file uh, uh, you know when you lose your SP file and P file I will uh, restore it uh, thank you